So this video was requested in one of my other videos in the comment section. If you are a Square Online seller and you have many items in your library and you need to update pricing or you need to update the item name or anything like that and you don't want to go individually one by one, you just want to bulk edit them, right, like in a spreadsheet, then you're going to want to watch this video because this is going to save you a lot of time and frustration. So the first thing you want to do is log into your Square Up dashboard. So go to squareup.com and then you can go to your item library. Now you want to make sure that you, for one, have the Square Up dashboard set up and your item library set up. It should be syncing across devices to your Square Online store. To verify that it is synced with your Square Online store, if you go to online here uh, from the Square Up dashboard, and we go to the Square Online Editor. And then we go over here to the Items section. And then you go to Item Sync. And at that point, you're going to want to go ahead and say Sync Item Descriptions. And your item title, price, item SKU, stock, options, modifiers, all this should be synced anyways. Um, but if you want to get your description synced also, so if you want everything that we're going to edit in here to be synced, then you need to make sure that that is on. So then I'm going to go back to my dashboard or to my items here. And then from here, what we've, we're going to do is we're going to export all of our items into a spreadsheet. So we're going to go to item library and then I'm going to say actions and I'm going to say export library. And then we're going to export to Excel and you can either use Microsoft Excel, Apple numbers, or Google sheets. So I'm going to, uh, you know, imagine that you have some level of, um, knowledge of how to use, uh, Excel or spreadsheet or whatever spreadsheet tool you have, but it's very simple. All you do is you can see that you have this token name here. You don't want to change that. This is like your unique identifier. And then you've got your item name. And so if you need to update your item names, you can do that here. Um, if you have variations, they will show up here. And then each of these will have their own variation name. And so then if you have classic pack and then you have like a, a different variation of that, that'll pop up. So it'll say classic pack and then it'll say variation name tall or short or, you know, whatever those distinctions are. If you have SKU numbers, those will be right here. Your description is going to be right here. And then if you have any categories, that will be right here as well, which um, it appears that there is no categories in this particular um, library. Um, so you have a full description here that you can, again, sync across your online store and your in-person store or your square item library. And then you've, of course, got the price. So if you need to update your pricing, you can do that here. And then any of your stock um, enabled, stock alert enabled. So if you are doing a stock count, then uh, this will be here. So you can say, so see, I'm not tracking any stock with this particular item library. If you were, it would show the current quantity. And then if you wanted to add or uh, anything like that, then you can do that here. Um, so everything will be laid out here. And then when you're done, so I'm going to just add like a, a one to all of these, or actually let's do like a, a three so that I can know that I changed it. Um, this, this store is not live. It's not a, it's just a fake store for demonstration purposes only. I'm just going to go through and oops, um, change all these so that I can quickly show you how they come across. Okay. So then when that's done, then what you're going to do is going to go ahead and save it. So whatever you need to save it as I'm going to save it to my, uh, desktop here, save, and you could also rename it to like updated so that, you know, and then we're going to go actions and we're going to go import library and we're going to say modify item library add new items, and update your existing ones. Existing items will be revised, not deleted. Say next. And then we're going to drop in the file here, or you can just select it from the computer. Um, 
I put it on my desktop, right? Oh, right. I'm sorry. This is a good thing to note. I accidentally um, did it as a um, as a numbers file type, and actually we need to uh, export it as probably a CSV. Let me just double check here um, because it's only going to let us. Uh, I believe I know the CSV will for sure work, but I want to show you um, if there's any others. Um, we recommend using an Excel file format. These are supported by most numbers. Um, now the question is when you update it. So this, I'll leave a link to this uh, below here. So if you need to reference this doc from Square, you can do that here. It shows, so if you have more, you know, if you have uh, locations, different locations, uh, that, that'll show up here. Um, and edit the CSV. Do, 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 import CSV, import CSV, upload your item uh, for the first time, and then also upload, um, let's see, um, okay, you'll be prompted to be importing, okay, so you can do Excel or CSV, um, so I'm just going to uh, ex export it as CSV, and uh, you'll include the table names um just just do that to at least i'm pretty sure that's what we're going to be doing sometimes you have to do these things twice but um so replace item library whoopsies Ugh. see this is why you don't want to be doing it one by one because man what a import library replace item library drag and drop select desktop csv open upload um okay so the token so the item name is table one um square to confirm each oh that's weird Ugh. for some reason um it didn't pull it over which happens sometimes with that's why I don't like um, using numbers sometimes because it does something weird. Um, okay, so we're going to say file export to CSV. Maybe I won't include the table name. That's probably what it is. And we'll say new in front of that. And then let's try this again. Actions, import library, place item library. Select from your computer, boom. Now this one should be the winner here. Okay, so you'll just confirm that these are the matching um, columns. So it should uh, automatically pull those over. Just make sure there is no other options, price. Um, and then, yep, continue, import and replace. So this will take just a moment. And then, you know, depending on how big the library is, and then it should be uh, flushed out live. And then this should also translate to your Square Online store. So if we go over here and we hit online, and then we go view the online store, then this should be updated as well. So we'll just verify that if we click here, that all the items should have a three in front of them um, is the way that I'm going to quickly test this. So you can see how much time you can save by just having it all exported to a spreadsheet and um, let's see let me try refreshing here okay it has not done it yet so let's go to items item sync and shows the price what we might do is just say automatically add new items it should just pull it. Um, it may just take a moment to do that. Let's see, is there a, oopsies. Is there a settings for how long that will check here? Okay, there we go. Um, so I would just go to your site items. You could also, I just turn that setting on and off.
but if you maybe give it a moment, go to your your um, site items and site item sync, and you could kind of flip that switch to kind of make it think for a second. So um, if you have not added from your item library, then that's where this add from item library um, thing exists here. But it should um, be synced up there. Uh, so if you're having any trouble at all, please leave a comment down below, and I'd be happy to make a video or comment below to try to help you out along the journey. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up so that way more people can find it and save buku of time on their website from uh, going into every single item and editing the price because I know that there's probably a lot of people updating prices right now with the cost of everything going up. Um, so without further ado, continue on your journey of selling online and we'll see you next time.